radioactive guys watch it. When he was young and handsome. Long time ago. In a galaxy far away. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Bada -ba! Hunter Carlo! And I'm Felicia. And this is our... And speaking of galaxies far, far away. away. That's Mars, so it's not really that far okay, away. So this game is about, we signed Giancarlo up and he doesn't know, for the mission to Mars. You know, they send him there and they're never coming back. How does it this play? This is beautiful though. It's mm. nice. That wasn't a fart, it was the box. Yes, Felicia. Ladies don't do that. We smell like flowers and roses. Hold this. Well, you see, this is the thing. The, the, the box cover is cool, but then like inside, it's not that it's bad, but it's... it's this is a cool concept. That's all right. Yeah, but then the... the the cards and the stuff, no. it's all very... Is, it, is this a party game or is it one of those no, long and boring games? No. <laughs> wow! Because it's a oh, joke. Wow! Oh, they have like, um, you can purchase memorabilia on their site, which is kind of cool. Memorabilia. Well, yeah, it's just like fan. More like me merchandise. Memorabilia would have to... I know, be. stuff from the past, vintage, yeah. retro. Yeah, yeah. Retro. so you're wrong. Unless, unless you buy it in 2049. Oh, look, it's midnight. So this is me too. I go, like, I end up on the on Mars with him at some point in the game. That can happen. Oh, what's like, the point so of me says, leaving then? So he says... <laughs> in Mission to Mars 2049, you are leading your Mars colony to be the first to claim the huge ice deposit, the largest water deposit on the planet's North Pole. First player to claim it wins. Now each player will start with their chosen colors, base tokens, resource stations, laboratory tokens, and the road and H2O station token. Give them all their building cost reference sheet. And in this three player setup, each player will place one of their bases at the edge of the map on the spot and indicated three player start point. They'll also place one of each resource station as such. Each player will start with two resources of each type, air, food, and minerals, and set the rest in the appropriate decks along with the road, peaceful mission and aggressive mission decks. The three and eight times resource token should be nearby and each player will roll a die and the first player to roll the air symbol starts. You're ready for your Martian expedition. The first action a player does on his turn is roll the die. Each face will denote what happens. For each of the resource faces, he'll gain a number of those resources at the number of resource station the player has of that type. The robbery face lets you steal a random resource card from any other player. The discovery face lets you choose any resource or road card, and this X means you skip this turn. Should you roll this again on your next turns in row, you choose which resource card to take from each turn missed. After the dice rolled, should you not have rolled a miss your turn, you can do several other actions in any order. You can trade resources to the bank if you wish. Four resources of the same type can be exchanged for one of any type. Now exchange laboratories will improve your ratio 3 to 1 or 2 to 1 if that's built after your 3 to 1 laboratory. This brings us to the next action, building. The cost of each building will be found on your building cost sheet. Simply trade in the required resource cards, take one of the appropriate tokens and place it in a legal spot. Now a legal spot for placement is in one of the corners either adjacent or diagonal on the intersection lines next to one of your base tokens. Building a base is crucial as you can only build forward as such, following legal placement. Obviously, you cannot build on yours or another player's token. You may also choose to build a laboratory this way for better exchange rate, and you may choose to buy mission cards. There's two types, peaceful, which is beneficial for you, or aggressive, which can be aggressive to your opponents, and sometimes yourself, so do be careful. Peaceful ones will usually gather your resources, make you place a token, or shield you from aggressive cards. Aggressive cards can make you destroy or even steal another player's resource token. Destroy the base closest to the North Pole and other nasty effects. On your turn, you should also trade in same type resource cards, three or eight, to get the appropriate resource tokens. These are great as they cannot be stolen from the robbery die. Lastly, to win the game, the player must build a road first when reaching close to the ice deposit, cost listed here, and then build the first H2O station dead center of it. Do that and you win. Okay, so Mission to Mars 2049 has a theme dear to my heart, and though the mechanics sort of make sense with the theme, the two main reoccurring problems in all aspects of this game is twofold, dependency on luck and no real decision making. There is absolutely no reason not to trade your resource cards into resource tokens. We've played that if using tokens to build something, you don't get any resource cards back for overpaying. Not sure if that's the case, as it's not specified in the rulebook. But that's what we did, or there'd be no point in not trading cards for tokens to protect them from robbery. Another no-brainer was the mission cards. 
If you have the resources to get peaceful mission cards, do so. Some will give you extra resources, build any resource station and or laboratories, protect you against aggressive mission cards, etc. And since you can keep the cards and never get it stolen, as the robbery die affects resource cards only, there is even more incentive to just grab these. And that's all we did in the game, not concerning ourselves with getting specific resources to build specific stations or laboratory, they let you build it for free or gain other resources. They were simply overpowered for cost paid. Now for the aggressive cards, they are always bought if you're lagging behind, as it kind of curbs the current leader by affecting them mostly. This makes the game have that munchkin problem of bottlenecking. Basically racing away and if your deleter gets too far, bring him down, which just extends the game and makes it long. The components are passable, but what irked me was the see-through cards, which does affect the rob reaction, so make some place them face down if someone would steal from you. So I'm only giving them a half point. And the art? Well, besides the board, there is no art, which is interesting as this game caters to family, you think from the looks of it, it'd be for more experienced audience. It is extremely functional though, and the rule book is quite well written, as some cool facts about Mars as well. No problems with it, except for the overpaying with resource token issue. Mission to Mars can only be used as a family introductory game into board game and is fairly easy for anyone to grasp. But even then, it lacks excitement, which doesn't speak highly for replay value. I wish I could have given it a higher score, but unfortunately, Mission to Mars 2049 scores a 4 out of 10.